Good morning guys, welcome to my channel Dental Dork. My name is Chrissy, I'm a registered dental hygienist. This morning I'm going to be having my AGA appliance removed. A little quick update, I haven't had the stop locks on the side of the bar with the spring activated in about four to five weeks or so. I'm really excited to get the AGA off. Um, once they take it off, I'll have either impression or a scan depending on um, what the doctor feels that they can do. Then my case will be sent out to the lab for controlled arch braces. So I won't actually be getting any braces on today. It's just the process of getting this off, holding it in place until we can get the braces back from the lab and then they'll put the braces right onto my teeth. So I'm a little bit nervous about a couple of things, nothing crazy, but obviously I have sensitive teeth. I always have had sensitive teeth. So a drill near my teeth without any anesthesia with cold air and water is just a, a worry of mine to begin with. That's probably mostly going to be sensitive on the back of these front teeth. I have, two, uh, you know, a lot of cement back there with two uh, lingual wires or um, metal bars basically back there that are cemented that I'll have to drill off. So that might be a little bit tender just because of the sensitivity of the teeth in general. My second concern is inflammation. I'm a dental hygienist, so I am an incredible incredible tooth cleaner. However, with this obstacle of metal being in my mouth, it's really difficult to keep it clean. The water pick has been my best friend at keeping, you know, the, my whole mouth clean, but I'm not perfect. And I know, I believe that I actually have a little bit more of a sensitivity to metal, which causes my gum tissue to uh, become large or inflamed. So when I clean it, even though it's bulbous or it's it's enlarged, it's it's not bleeding when I clean it. But I just know that that's going to be an obstacle for the doctor to work around that really enlarged tissue at this point. So that's kind of annoying. Which I hope the inflammation will go down once I get these this off and before I get braces. So aside from that, I think I'll be all right. Uh, those are just two things I'm been thinking about. For a minute. I'm gonna try to bring my camera along with me to videotape the process. I have to see if that's okay with the doctor and see how like everybody feels about it but my goal is to be able to show you guys kind of like a speed reel of what all happens when you get this removed. It's it's a lot of drilling and pulling and prodding to get the thing out I'm sure <laughs> but um, I hope to at least be able to show you guys something a little bit more of you know inside the operatory type of scenery and then I'll definitely give you guys an update on how it all went and what it all looks like now and you know what kind of what we do moving forward <laughs> taken uh, they made something called an Essex retainer which is just a clear like a liner um, for me to wear all the time 24 7 and to eat in um, usually I believe they actually place something called an FRLA which is a fixed removable lingual wire on the upper um, just to hold the space but my doctor wanted to use something a little bit 
I don't know, he wanted to go with this instead, which is fine. They also then took some more impressions to be sent out to the lab um, that will create like the brackets and everything for the actual braces that will go on my teeth. And I should get those back in about... I think three to four weeks, I'm not exactly sure when, but that's my hopes. And at that time, I will have the FRLA put on the top, which goes on the inside of my jaw. I currently have an FRLA on the lower, which I haven't explained in any of these videos yet what exactly that is and that stuff I've got to get to. That's kind of the process of an AGA removal. I wanted to share it with you guys and so that you kind of saw what was, you know, in for it. It was pretty simple to take off. Honestly, um, I wasn't as sensitive as I thought I was to both things, both the actual removal of the cement on the inside of my teeth. It really helped that my doctor put his finger on the tooth as he was drilling. That was just a really cool tip that um, he used to help decrease sensitivity to the cold air and to the cold water. And then the impressions, I think because I had waited like four to five weeks and of no movement. I didn't, you know, move my teeth at all during that time frame. The impressions did not really hurt that bad at all. Really, at all, actually. And I don't have a, a gag reflex, so it was, I don't get that, you know, feeling, which is awesome. <laughs> I guess I should probably update on how it feels. It really feels fine. It feels great. I I'm a little bit sore on like the gum tissue. Gums feel a little bit raw like around the where the bands were and actually on the roof of the mouth where that little pad was there's like a little indentation which was pretty cool. Really it doesn't hurt. My teeth feel fine. I'm, I'm just but I really don't complain about too much so there's definitely cement still in between my teeth when I floss I can feel it so I'm definitely gonna get that out. So anyway here's the Essex retainer. Fits in just like that. I can talk com almost completely normal with it. At this point, this is a piece of cake. <laughs> and um, I look forward to updating you guys with the controlled arch. I'll try to do a similar video. I hope you guys found this helpful. Leave any questions um, or comments that you might have down below and I will try to answer them. If you could like the video and subscribe to see more videos like this and about the controlled arch system, uh, that would be awesome. Thanks guys, have a great day.